So yesterday I spent a great couple of hours testing out new rods um, in Rod and Tackle in Cramlington. So that's a new business in, in Northumberland and the guy who owns it, Grant, was very, very helpful. And I tested out a range of different rods and I liked them all. But the one that really spoke to me was... So I spent all of my money on a new fishing rod. Um, but what are you going to do? When you're salmon fishing a lot, you need to have a good, um, you need a good rod. So anyway, I went for the 13 foot six Hardy Ultralight um, in an eight or nine weight. And I'll tell you what it is, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I fancied like a couple of days on some nice beats before the end of the season. So I've sort of, with what money I've got left from the fishing rod, I've bought myself like an expensive day ticket. And here I am to, um, to see what it's like fishing for the uh, well healed. So far I like it. So we have a fishing hut and I believe the ghillie's going to meet me here at, at 8.30. I think there's a total of six rods on the river. I don't know how many I've booked for the day. Hopefully not all of them. I can't wait to get going here. So here it is, the new stick. If it's a case of the one choosing the wizard, then this one chose me. I hope to get many years of fishing out of this rod. So a while ago I had a go of a 15 foot hardy zenith rod and my god it was amazing. My first cast with it went twice as far as I normally cast and since then I've not been able to stop thinking about like a quality rod. The rod I had before was a Shakespeare Oracle and it's fine and it was absolutely nothing wrong with it but when you've, when you've tried one of those the, the zenith was amazing. Um, this is the modern two versions later so there was the zephyrus after that, the zephyrus and then now the, the ultralight, this is the second version of the ultralight with the new Syntrax 2 technology which is like some fancy resin and it just feels amazing so it's it's a powerful casting rod with a, a softer action that's that's the crack that I got from it yesterday I tried a few different rods I had a, I had a really good time actually um, I got some I got a spear casting lesson whilst I was trying the rods and I can tell it's going to take me a while to grow into this rod but when I do like I see I think I'll get years out of it it's beautiful like and it's so incredibly light. That's the thing about the Oracle. I cast, I spent my day at Hesley side last week. I cast it all day. It was only, it's only a 13 foot rod, but I, my arms and shoulders were aching by the end of the day. Here's the rod in all its glory. If anybody's into rod porn, you know what? I bet there probably are quite a few people into rod porn. Syntrix in excess. That's going to be amazing. It's got a carbon reel seat which looks really good. The cork's beautiful. And it's the feel of it in the hand. I mean that is so incredibly light. And it's not just light, it just it feels like a fishing rod. Some of the one of the or two of the other rods actually that I tried yesterday had a they had an action that was like the rod was so weightless that it felt like you're projecting the line out of your wrists like spider-man so it didn't actually feel like you had a rod in your hands but what i like about this is it does still feel it feels like i've got a rod but just this very finely balanced thing like in comparison my shakespeare oracle feels like an iron broadsword so in case i do encounter one of those crocs i'm bul bulking up my tippet I'm going up to 15 pound today. Okay, so Jim the Gilly was extremely helpful there. And here we go with a new rod. I've seen a right old crocodile in here like when I was when I was having my breakfast.
that's a bigger one. Like um, the level of casting that I'm at, it's going to take me a good year to get to the potential of this rod. Like, but hopefully, I'll be fishing it for a long time. It's a sexy bit of water, this, like, like further down there, and there's fish just jumping everywhere. Come on, crocodiles! We're crocodile hunting today. We want a big tiny croc. When you get the cast right, it's as sweet as a nut. Obviously not all of my casts are always right. The bottom of the first pull, pretty much. It hasn't gone all smoothly, smoothly with the new rod. Especially, unfortunately, when I had an audience, obviously, because everybody's casting goes to shit when you've got an audience, right? Anyway, I haven't touched the fish so far. I feel like, again, my, my intermediate line's getting me down nicely. And the plastic tube fly I've got on is just popped up off the bottom almost. So I'm touching bottom every now and then, but I'm not catching any snot, which is nice. It's getting pretty windy, so a double spear with a big, a big hole on the first part of it seems to be the order of the day. It feels mega fishy like. So we've had a shift of location, we've done a bit of off-roading there and we've come and parked in the car park at the top of the beat. The van did pretty well to get through there. Carla's not fishing today, she's just having a sniff around. We'll have a little bit of a sandwich before we go back. Okay, so this is exactly the type of water I want to be fishing. Nice fast water, this is such a pleasure. <sighs> Pretty good views, it's a big wide open bit of the river. I thought it was going to be too low, but the ghillie reckons the height's perfect and it's been fishing really well. So I've moved up to the very top of the beat. The ghillie suggests that I fish all of the water, which I'm very happy to do. And I hope my casting's going to get a lot better now I'm out of the public eye. I've got a red one inch plastic tube on to complement my hardy rocket intermediate line with an intermediate sink tip, which gets it nicely down and just slices through the water. There's a strong downstream wind like. But that's okay, I don't mind that. This is lovely fast flowing water. This is a pleasure to fish this, this sort of stuff. This has got to be a trout. Oh well, it's a something. Yeah, little coat. Yeah, little fella, what are you doing? There we are, go on then. Casting's really difficult, like, this is really strong wind. I need to learn a snap tea. Oh, that's about the best cast I've put out in about five attempts, maybe ten. I hope the wind does drop a little bit, like, because it is wicked. This is a big, wide, powerful river, and it's not what I'm used to. It's very exciting to be fishing it, but it's... It just looks so big, and it just looks like I could be fish anywhere.
I've hooked one. Okay, come on. Keep calm. It hasn't shown itself yet. It hasn't really done anything. Just keep the pressure on. Oh, it's starting to go now. Okay. Whoa. Don't think it's fully revealed its hand yet. It's it's obviously staying super low. So I'm just going to tire it out before I try anything too crazy. They're so sneaky when they come in towards you like this. At least it's going upstream, that's good. I just want to see it so I can act according. Oh, we've got to snag a bit of a, a, bit of a branch, I don't like that. So for everybody who's um, commented on the size of my net, I think you're probably right. I think I probably will go for a bigger net. But this is a hit. Okay. I don't think you're ready to come anywhere near me at the moment, like. Still got loads of life. So I'm just letting the rod tire it out here. So I can't go to the bank. I'm not going to the bank yet. I'll take a couple of steps back. Tell you what it is, salmon fishing is mega fun. I'm sorry you probably can't see much of this because of my uh, my reel, but I think it's fair to say that my priority is catching the fish. God, it's strong. And it's putting a lovely bend in my rod. I think we can just lift you up. No. Still got a run or two left in it. Come on, I'll just ease you into the net. Oh no, we're not. Will 
Oh, it's a sea trout and it's a flipping whopper. It's got a bloody weight behind it. It's still not done, it's still nodding its head. Go for it, yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a cracking fish. I'm getting closer. We're getting closer, but it's still not done. <laughs> God, how exciting is this though? Is there anything more exciting than this? I just honestly don't think there could be. This river is so big and it's so, it's, it's almost intimidating and obviously with this wind, it's a fairly savage experience fishing it today. But look, this is what's in here. This is, this is the possibility, this is the potential of these like expensive fishing beats. You just got more chance of coming across fish. This is a bloody good in this like. How are we gonna do this? Are you ready? I still think it's got a run in it. Go for it here. It's a salmon, it's not a sea trout. Got it, and it's a belt. Get in, get in, get in. Wow. Wow. It's a hen salmon, and it can't be far off double figures. Okay, lady. Okay, lady. Oh man, we're gonna sort you. Oh my god, it's massive. Okay, darling. Okay. Okay, you're in the water. Your head's in the water. She's alright. Right, I'll get the forceps. Come on, stay still. We'll get this sorted. Alright, we've got the I've got the hook. Oh. There we go. There we go. Just a quick picture and then we're gonna go. There we go. There we go, look at her. 
Look at her. Here she goes. Goodbye, darling. I'll hold you a little while. But she's pretty good. I'll give her a minute in the net. There, she's ready. There, she's ready. I'll just hold her until she wants to. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Yes. Get in. Oh, yes. Get in. That was awesome. Just going to have a few more casts now before I go back and get some lunch and see Carla. My legs are still shaking after that fish. It's, on, it's just such a uniquely ex exciting experience. And I think the harder and more challenging the conditions, the better it is. And this has been a hard morning for me. I mean, I've really struggled with my casting today because this wind, this downstream wind is wicked. But this was the... This is one of the hot spots that the gilly told me about. It's a nice one. Nice one, Jimmy. I'm going to book him. I told him that because he said I should have booked him um, for the first day. And it did say that in PayPal, but I just wanted to learn the water and play with my rod. Um, but I said I'd book him in, like, in spring. You can help me catch a springer. I've just had a rattle there. Just one tap. And that was it. And it's going to cast again. I was just about to call it and go for lunch. So this is a good day, I'm enjoying this. Um, obviously my new rod only catches quality fish. I didn't even have to pour any whiskey into the river. It's a lovely fish that was. Yeah, when it was fighting it was just, it kept totally low. And I thought, initially I thought it was a really small fish because it was a gentle take. Um, but I didn't want to bully it too hard because I could tell, like I said, it hadn't showed its hand and it stayed at the bottom. When it did come up, obviously it, was, um, it wasn't a tiddler. So, Money well spent. It's it's worth every penny. I may have spent my entire um, my entire life savings in my children children's inheritance fund, but sorry guys, um, it was worth it. I was just wandering along, having a look at the river, and I'm trying to think, well, where am I going to fish next? And then I'm standing, looking at a bit of water. I think, God, that does look interesting. And then immediately a salmon jumped. So obviously the spirit of the salmon is with me today, and that's clearly a sign. So I need to trust my instincts. I'm going to fish this pool here, so there's a sort of cut out, like eddy pool here, a very still eddy pool, and there's a reasonable amount of current coming down here, but it's obviously gravelly and, and shallow and then deep here. Time for a fly change, I think what I've got on is too heavy. So I've decided I want to try purple. I've had one. How about you? No, not no. Really it's bloody hard work though with the wind, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, I'm getting a good length now. Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm doing my best to be honest, but um, yeah, it's it's put my technique to the test, that's for sure. So since I've got a fish in the bag, I'm just having an explore. San Martin Burrows. Can I get up there? 
Oh, there's always nettles. When you've got to claim somewhere, there's always nettles. Off. Damn it. That was a smaller fish, but it was, it was on for a bit and then it was off. Ah. Yeah, that little take there, I mean, honestly, it's so exciting. I don't know what's more exciting than salmon fishing. Maybe Russian hookahs, but I don't know. I think I'm, uh, I'm all right on the Russian hookahs. I'll, I'll stick with this at the minute. So the rain's here and the wind's back. For a moment, it was tranquil. Wow, how bleak a scene has this become? So this is the devil's water, this stream coming in here. And that pool there where it meets the town is a big, slow, back any circular washing machine and pool, other pool, and it's stuffed with fish. So I've made it back in the sanctuary of the mothership, back in the bakery after my day's fishing. Um, it was a great day, I really enjoyed Dilston. So the practicalities of Dilston are that it cost me £90 for my day's fishing today. So it's certainly not a beat you're going to go to every week. Um, but oh, it was nice, like it was a really fishy place and there was just so much good water. Um, I'm not used to having that much good water to fish in. It was, it was great. I've never seen so many fish. Like, it, today, I think I've seen more more salmon than I've ever seen since I started fishing. So yeah, definitely a fishy place and definitely one I'll go back to next year. So yeah, would I go back? Definitely. Uh, a, that's a great place to fish. It just feels like a really productive fishery. So in terms of the rod, well I guess like in any new relationship, at the beginning there's like extreme highs and there's extreme lows. There were certainly some times today when I was struggling with my casting. I mean, it was very windy and that was kind of putting me out of my rhythm. Um, and again, I was doing a lot of like double spay um, because there was quite a fast flow uh, in the river itself. And then obviously the couple on top of that was that really wicked downstream wind. So I was finding it really hard to get the, to lay the line upstream to give myself enough room to, to get the cast out. I saw somebody like doing a single spay uh, and getting away quite well with it, but I, I couldn't do it. Um, it's, it's like the flow of the river was, was too much. Uh, I guess loads of things to work on. I think I need to learn a snap tee. That would have been an ide ideal cast today. Um, so I'll get onto that and at some point I'll get that learned. Um, but yeah, like obviously that with the lows, you know, casting like an idiot in front of the ghillie um, and the other, other rods on the river as well. Um, but the high obviously was catching the fish, so, you know, 
it is all in life is all swings and roundabouts. Um, and yeah, I can't I can't complain. So I'll certainly be back at Dilston in the future. I really enjoyed my day there and it was a really, really fishy place. So thank you for coming along with me. It's yet another sam salmon safari in the bag. Uh, I think I've only really got one, maybe two more before the end of the season. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen in the close season, whether I'm going to get withdrawal symptoms or what. I'm up to seven salmon now for the for the year, um, which in my first season I'm actually rather pleased with. So it's obviously, it's been a very dry year as well. So conditions have been tough um, since day one, really. But it just shows the value of having a beat where there's lots of lies. Um, like there's going to be fish there all the time. Like I said before, I saw so many fish today. I've never actually seen that many, many salmon before. It was quite awesome actually be, being in amongst the river when they were all leaping around. So yeah, it's uh, it's all food for thought and um, it's good to know that these places exist. And um, hopefully next year I'll get back. Um, I'll get back in May maybe and see if I can get myself a springer. Anyway, thanks for coming along for the ride. It's been fun. Hopefully I've got a salmon safari or two left in, left in me before the, the season's over. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, God, man. Jesus. Oh, it's got a leaf, that's why. Damn it. Oh, Rob, that's absolute shite. Come on, Rob. Oh, come on.